the rent is one twenty a week. That including breakfast and dinner. Dinner is served sharply at six thirty. If you late, you miss out. Is there a problem? No, ma'am. No. Man, what just happened out there? Look, this is a good neighborhood, and there's probably some cops out there harassing someone. And do you want the room or not? I don't have a whole day. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'll take it. You will be sharing the bathroom with two other people, Mr. McFarlane and Miss Malloy. It's not home, Mama, but it's someplace. I'll miss you. They're not usually this wild, but you know children after they have their snacks. Do you have any of your own? No, but I plan to someday in the near future. What are you waiting for? Well, they're wonderful children. And I know you'll enjoy working here. After all, the pay's not bad. And just think of all the experience you'll get for when you have your own. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. I'm really sorry. I didn't know anyone was in here. Don't worry about it. The name's Maggie. What's yours? Karen. Karen Johnson. Look, I really didn't mean to barge you like this, so why don't you just call me when you're all through? I'm going to be a little late for work. <coughs> yeah, you're the new girl that just moved into the room next to mine. Oh, come on in, girl. I'm only doing what nature intended me to do. So go right ahead. Bobby. You won't even know me. might come back, and I'm not a criminal. I'm not a criminal. You're not from around here, are you? No. 
I mean, yes. I mean, sort of. I don't believe I got your name. Karen. Well, that's quite a coincidence. My mother's name is Karen. Really? What's yours? Suleiman. I don't believe I've ever heard of a name like that before. Well, that's not so surprising. I'm from Senegal. I won't even tell you the name of my village. So you've probably never heard of that either. Are you sure you okay? I'm okay. I never met anybody from Africa before. Well, uh, we'll have to do something about that, won't we? How about the date? I'll have to think about it. Thank you. Uh, don't take too long. Just think about it. This picture was taken just before I left home. You look very young. How old were you? Well, let me see. Uh, this was taken in 1963. I was just about 17 then. You were very young. You were very handsome. I bet you broke a lot of hearts. No. I was more a gentleman. I wasn't a swinger. Karen! Did you have a boyfriend back in Alabama? Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is my castle. Uh, make yourself at home. In my country, it is customary to give a woman beads when you're asking for her hand. Yeah. It's the highest sign of affection. That's very nice. Oh, you have an American boyfriend. Well, yeah. No. I used to date this boy named Harold, but I guess my mama saw right through him. What do you mean through him? She said he wasn't good for me. So, what happened to this Harold? I don't know. Harold and I used to go to the movies. All the time. We used to catch the matinee. He'd buy the popcorn, the bonbon from the counter. That's where we parted. Right in front of the Lyndon Bijou. After I told him of Mama's feelings, he just left. He wrote a couple times, but I never wrote him back. I'm gonna die soon. No, this isn't right. We hardly know each other. What does that have to do with it? You do love me, don't you? Karen, I haven't met anyone like you since I've come to America. You have that special quality that I love in a woman. It's 
So then I have to go. I have to be to work early in the morning. I don't want to be late. What is the matter? Time won't wait for you, you know. I, I gotta go. <laughs> you know that uh, girl, uh, the one we helped yesterday. I'm going to marry her. You mean Kara? Damn, brother, you don't waste no time. I'm not joking, man. I'm going to ask that girl to marry me. I mean, that's the law here. If I a mad American citizen, I automatically become one. How much is the bid? Uh, ten dollars. Let me see. How much do you have? Give me eight. I don't have that much. You're not going to buy it, then don't waste my time. If you're not going to buy, you can just get out of here. That was uncalled for you. I'm not your young anything. If you're not going to buy, you can get lost, eh? I like your nerves telling me to leave. You are so rude. I wouldn't buy none of your junk if I had a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have to be so hard on her? They do it all the time, man. They fuck off of the stand. What are you going to do about Karen? What if she says no? Don't worry, brother. She won't. She scared me. Do women here still accept flowers from men? It's beautiful. Suleiman, about the other night. Uh, how about a movie? It's a little late for a matinee, but uh, we can still go to the Bijou. And I'll make sure they have enough bonbons and popcorn. And cream 
that's what you are to me. Blueberries and cream taste so sweet. Blueberries and cream, that's what you are to me. That is your style That makes me Character Style An 80's woman Total control of her life Every time you're around We never feel like to Something always hinders me So all I think must be a sin Ooh, blueberries and cream That's what you are to me Blueberries and cream Miss Atkins! Hubert? What's the matter, baby? I'm in here. Oh. Miss Atkins, where's Hubert? There's someone here that I'd like y'all to meet. Miss Atkins, this is Suleiman. Suleiman, this is Miss Atkins. Hi. Hi. Suleiman is a friend of mine from Senegal. Patrick Atkins. Isn't that wonderful? Suleiman, let me take your coat. Karen, I have to be going. Um, I have some stuff I have to do in the morning. Don't you? Nice meeting you, Ms. Atkins. So, what do you think of him? Well, is that the man you've been bubbling over for weeks? The mm. him. Things with Look, him. he gave me these. He said it's the custom of his people. When a man asks for a woman's hand in marriage. That's nice, baby. But don't you think you're rushing things? Suleiman has helped me to forget about Mama and Harold. <laughs> and besides, I'm not getting any younger. Hey, come on, baby. You still have a lot of time. How do you know that this guy want to marry you for all the right reasons? You have only known him for two weeks. That's not enough time. Mrs. Atkins, I know what you're saying. But Suleiman is very special to me. And I'm glad I met him. What if the boy only want to marry you to become a citizen here? That's not true. I didn't say it was. How could you say a thing like that? Mrs. Atkins, my mother took away a man that I loved too. But she's dead now, and I'm nobody's baby. What if the boy only want to marry you to become a citizen here? <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, I thought you were those bulls. <laughs> hey, you thought they had you, huh? <laughs> Hi, Daryl. Well, I wasn't interrupting anything, was I? No. No, not at all. In fact, look, I, I have to be to work early. I have to be to work early today. What's taking place? You're not going along with this, are you? What? This marriage thing. Oh, yes. In two weeks, Karen and I will be exchanging vows at City Hall. Can't you use someone else besides Karen? What do you mean, someone else? You yourself said she was the perfect one. And she is. It's going on just as I planned it. Look, man. Don't you know what you're doing? Karen has real feelings for you. She loves you, man. Authentic. Not that phony shit you're running down with her. She's not a piece of jewelry, man. See this picture? Her name is Fatou. She's in Senegal now, waiting for me. I told her when I come to America and become a citizen, I'll come back and marry her. So you see, I also have feelings which are authentic. But Karen is such a nice girl. I know Karen is a nice girl. But I love her too. Karen has feelings for you. But don't they think I have feelings too? How do you think it makes me feel to see my brothers and sisters deported for wanting to be Americans? They make it seem so attractive and appealing. Just when they know you want it, BAM! You're deported. Look, I just don't want to see Karen get hurt, all right? I told you when starting this thing that I would do whatever it took to become an American citizen. And I'm willing to do anything to get it. saying goodbye? Found something better, huh? Well, I guess you could say that. I am going to miss you, though, Hubert. You've been just like a father to me. Well, thank you for giving me the chance. You watch your back out there. People are always ready to take advantage of a nice girl like you. I'll miss you. What do you want with me? U.S. Immigration. Can we talk to you for a moment? <laughs> 